real reason for Megxit, Prince Harry's desperate hope for baby Archie's upbringing. Prince Harry is obviously dissatisfied with royal life, but what desperate hope does the Duke of Sussex hold for his only son's childhood? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, will officially step back as senior members of the royal family in the spring. But for 35 years, Prince Harry has been an integral part of the firm. So why is he so desperate for his son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor to be raised away from all the pomp? and royalty which he experienced prince harry and meghan sent shock waves around the globe early this month when they revealed their intention to step back from royal family the couple shared the bombshell news in an instagram post on january 8th a day before kate duchess of cambridge's birthday the duke and Duchess of sussex news was set to deeply hurt the royal family but after Royal crisis talks at Tendringham with the Queen, Prince Charles, Prince William and Prince Harry. The Queen released a statement of support for the couple. However, she did say that she would have preferred them to continue on in their current capacity. Negotiations about the so-called Magxit process was decided over the following and last weekend. The King and Palace shared a statement about the conditions by which Harry and Meghan will leave royal life. From spring 2020, they will no longer use their HRH titles, undertake royal duties, or receive any public funds for their work. Speaking after these conditions have been revealed, Prince Harry shared some background about why and his wife, Meghan, made the shocking move during a private reception in central London for charity Santa Bell. Prince Harry said he's taking a leap of faith in stepping back, adding that he felt there really was no other option. Harry also said... He had found the love and happiness he had always wanted with Meghan, and they were not walking away. The Duke of Sussex added the decision had brought him great sadness that has come to this. However, primatologist Jane Goodall has this week suggested Prince Harry and Meghan's decision to walk away from royal life was unsurprising. Speaking on BBC Radio 4's Today programme, Dr Goodall said, Well, it doesn't surprise me, having met them both. She added, I know that. Prince Harry really felt constrained and he desperately wants little Archie to grow up away from all the pomp and royalty and know that. I haven't been in the UK, I haven't really followed the news. I had no idea that anything like this was going to happen. The Duke of Sussex first met the chimpanzee expert at Frogmore Cottage when baby Archie, Harrison Mountbatten and Windsor were just five weeks old. Prince Harry met with Dr. Goodall, who was being interviewed by the Duke for the special edition of Vogue, which was edited by Meghan, Harry and Meghan, who are both huge fans of the world-renowned primatologist and activist, invited her in June last year, where she cuddled their newborn son. The Sussex's official Instagram account said, Harry met with Dr. Goodall for an intimate conversation on environment, activism and the world as they see it. The post added the pair spoke candidly about many topics, including the effects of unconscious bias and the need for people to acknowledge that your upbringing and environment can cause you to be prejudiced without realizing it. Energy reader Alison Vard agreed with Dr. Goodall's assessment and said Prince Harry's speech last Sunday underlined how dedicated he was to his family. She said, so the line that speaks volume is, the decision that I made for my wife and I to step back is not one I made lightly. Prince Harry is letting the world know he has made the decision based on being the husband and father of the family and that he was not manipulated by Meghan. Additionally, the energy reader Harry's speech made clear that he was adamant about the different life he wants for himself, Meghan, Archie Harrison, Mount Benton Windsor and any other children they may add to their family, she said. What is evident throughout Harry's speech is that it is full of warmth and love for his loyal followers and supporters in the room. He clearly thanks them for educating him about life and supporting him even when he gets it wrong. Harry is a man who knows his own mind. He shows humility, passion and loyalty to the Queen and his country. I truly feel that Harry's value of freedom had come into play here as he had been tapped within the confines of the royal family and the media for too long. He was born into this. When our values are compromised, eventually something has to give. This is Harry's freedom now. Now, simply he could not hold back any longer. Bless you, Harry.